Hi, welcome back to Funders and Founders. I'm Anna Vital. I'm here with the CEO of Ivina Medical, Frank Ball. Well, what I saw at Life 3.0 is you had glasses that would show you where the the veins are in someone's arm without cutting them open, and you wowed everyone with that. What we're looking at is a, a video clip of stripping a vein. Uh, this is what we see with the device. You can see that vasculature. It's unlike anything you've ever seen on your surface of your arm. And they're demonstrating the blood flow. By stripping it, we can see, yeah, there's great blood flow in that vein. If we'd stripped the one next to it, although it's about the same size, it has very poor blood flow, so that would not be a good vein to start in. On this particular screen, it's a little difficult to see, but we also can see the valves and to avoid them, and branches in the veins to avoid those as well. But you can see that you can lots of veins very prominently visible, so the practitioner has a wide selection of veins to choose from as to which, not just make it an easier start, but a more effective start to a vein that's going to have great flow and not have to be replaced uh, in the near future. Okay. All right, so now, Frank, that you've got me all augmented up, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about how these augmented medicine glasses work. It's one of our favorite toys. This is an early prototype for a project we're developing for the military and the pre-hospital industry. Pre-hospital being ambulance and fire EMT uh, market. Um, we, we've got great hospitals with tremendous physicians in them, but out in the field they don't always have that support to where, especially in the military. And using these glasses in a program we call a Smart Medic, the medic can have the full resources of the support hospital in his, in his eyes and ears. The hospital physician can see exactly what the medic is seeing, <coughs> excuse me, in stereoscopic 3D with visible light, mm -hmm. or he can see it in near infrared light, like we saw with the veins. Um, the side, there's a very powerful near infrared illuminator over there on the side mm -hmm. that's custom built out of Germany. Mm -hmm and the custom cameras are super sensitive and they're custom built out of Germany, I'm sorry, out of Canada for those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the glasses are actually manufactured by a partner firm of ours. Mm -hmm. So we don't get into the elaborate part of that. Okay. But the technology is that, that now with the physician able to see what the practitioner is seeing, the physician can guide that medic through more elaborate procedures. We also, because we now have a computer on board the medic, we can do a lot more diagnostics. We can do digital uh, ultrasound. We can do uh, digital blood pressure. We can do uh, EKG, um, pulse oximetry, uh, even uh, ultrasound in the field using the processor. And the medic or the physician in the back is through our telemedicine link, seeing exactly the same thing that the medic is seeing. And there's two little monitors inside there you can see. Mm -hmm. And that's how the, pra the medic is seeing in stereoscopic 3D, mm -hmm. and the physician can do likewise. They're seeing exactly the same thing. So this is the best uh, telemedicine you can get probably right now. It's real time, right at the patient, and it doesn't take a lot of fancy robotic guidance and so forth. The practitioner, the medic, will automatically, intuitively look at what he needs to see. And because those cameras are aligned com exactly with his eyes, the physician is going to see exactly the same thing in 3D. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned that this might be potentially a revolutionary product for the military. For the military, it's huge because uh, they end up, the, the combat medics end up dealing with catastrophic incidents out at very remote areas. And oftentimes they need intense treatment right away. Mm -hmm. Unlike here, in, in, here, especially in California, it's just not that far to a hospital. But it could be a long helicopter flight uh, for a combat soldier with devastating injuries. Mm -hmm. And if that physician can guide that medic through procedures uh, with the diagnostics, if he can prescribe additional drugs and have that medic push those drugs, it can make it truly be life-saving to soldiers. Our founder is a bird colonel in the Army. Mm -hmm. um, 32 years of emergency medicine, a faculty at Loma Linda University, and he, he's very passionate about getting the best quality of medicine out to the troops in the field as possible. All right, wow, so this is the new era, everyone. Look out.
for the innovation and augmented medicine try this on you know if you are qualified and uh, medical professional highly recommend I saw the future right here so and we have ruggedized versions coming out oh all right in pink <laughs> 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 Gotta good. keep it trendy. <laughs> That's a good line. Cool. Awesome. Everybody's familiar with x-rays and how they use a certain wavelength of energy to see through the skin and tissue to image the bones underneath. Similarly, we use a very specific wavelength of light, a totally benign, safe wavelength to see through the skin to image the vasculature underneath. And starting IVs tends to be the, the gating factor or the limiting step on a lot of medical practices. Until you've got a good IV established, you can't push the meds in many cases. So, but that's a difficult procedure. It happens over three billion times a year in the domestic U.S., but research has shown that practitioners miss about 40% of the time. Wow. because they can't see what they're shooting at. Mm -hmm. By our imaging it on the device, they can look right on the screen, they can see it nice and clearly, they can see their needle come into the field, and even if it's real time, so as the vein rolls, they can start the IV right into the vein. Um, is it possible to see all the organs, all the insides, if you will, <laughs> in the near future? <laughs> Perhaps. Ultrasound is a very popular tool because it does a wonderful job of seeing organs that are deep. And generally we figure ultrasound goes from a centimeter deeper. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't do quite as good on shallow, although there are some now that do a little better. But it sees a slice, it would see a slice through the arm, whereas we want to see a whole panorama of the arm to observe the whole vasculature. And the near infrared light, however, it penetrates down to about a centimeter deep. Mm -hmm. And so we can really see what we're trying to see. Most of the veins we're trying to access are between three and five millimeters deep. Um, I want to ask you on a more personal note, you know, uh, right now a lot of people look up to you as the, the visionary in the field. Um, I do, certainly, uh, after the show especially, now that I've seen it. Um, how did you become who you are today? Uh, you know, what kind of motivated you to become a startup entrepreneur, <laughs> take a lot of risk and, um, you know, be where you are? Well, insanity, I think, is the first <laughs> requirement. No insane, insane person goes through this. but. Uh, it, it's the most exciting work there is being an entrepreneur. Um, it, it takes tremendous uh, perseverance because there's a million obstacles out there that have to be overcome mm -hmm. and keep on going. When things are going wrong, you still have to have the good spirits. Um, and so that persistent positive attitude, I think, is, is a requirement for an entrepreneur. I'm sure that a lot of people who are watching this would actually want to try this if they need an IV. So where and how can it be viewed and tried other than Life 3.0? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we are going to market right now. Uh, you can actually go to our website. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today here, and uh, we'll be watching the progress of Avena and how it's changing the medical industry inside out. Thank you for watching. <laughs>